how to measure for a flood barrier. So you're going to need a tape measure. Any simple tape will do. Now, if you're doing it regularly or, a, or are a surveyor, you might want to invest in a laser measure. Um, but just for measuring on the odd occasion, a normal tape measure will be completely fine. And I'd also recommend just having a spirit level just to make sure you can see if your ground is flat and level or not. Here we know it's not flat um, nor level because we've got uneven slabs. So taking the tape measure, In this instance, we want to measure the width of the aperture, which is just over 2.41 metres with the tape measure from brick to brick. Now, if we were using a laser measure, we could do the same thing here. And that's given the same 2.41 metres. Now, whilst we're measuring that, there are other things that we're going to want to measure, such as the height of the doorstep from the floor. So here we have 180 millimetres is the height. And we also are going to want to measure how far this step sticks out from the wall. So here we have got 55 millimetres that the step sticks out. Now, whilst we're measuring for the door, we're also going to want to look at if there's anything around it that might have an impact on how we measure. So in this instance, it's just the French doors. But what, might it, what it might be on a similar thing is have a window here. And then we'd also need to look at how far that ledge sticks out and how high the window is from the ground, because that could impact on how you fit the rail. Now, it's not recommended these days to fit the barrier to the door frame because it's not load rated and also it's not likely to be as well sealed. So we're looking at areas around, sort of on the brickwork face that may impact on how we install the barrier. Now in this instance, we've got this brickwork that actually sticks out here. So when I'm recording about the doorway, I'm going to make a note of that. So the height that that sticks up is from the floor is 520 millimetres and I'm also going to record how far it protrudes from the wall which is 10 millimetres just because it might have an impact on how a barrier was to be installed and obviously we want to make this as simple as possible and try and get all of the measurements in one go. There could be on other properties other things that may impact such as mobility handles that might protrude um, so it's just making an assessment of everything that is around the door as well when we are measuring for it but the three key things here are the aperture width the height of the step to the floor and how far the step sticks out from the wall you saw me out on site earlier measuring a set of french doors for a flood barrier. Now I wanted to also show a different example. So here we have a door which is set in a reveal. So it's a slightly different way of measuring because what we're going to need to know on this measurement is we're still going to need to know the width. So we're going to need tape measure or the laser measure to measure the width. But what I'd also recommend measuring is this measurement, which is what we call the depth of the reveal. Now that is to give an indication of if we've got space to mount a flood barrier. The other thing I'd recommend to do, and you can see on this image I've got a spirit level out, was actually looking at this step and seeing if it was flat and level. Now from this spirit level I could see it wasn't flat and level. And this is a good example actually because I can show you one and it's been taken all the way through and I've actually got a photo of the barrier finished. So you can see it's in place here. We had to measure that depth of reveal to make sure we've got space for a flood barrier rail. We measured the width and also because the ground was uneven, um, a ground strip was allowed for just so that the barrier would seal well. got another example here of what we'd measure so same sort of scenario we need to measure this depth here and we also need to measure the width from the brickwork to the brickwork and then also ideally use a spirit level to see if the ground is flat and level
Now there are some other instances where I would recommend measuring the inside of the door as well. If it was an outward opening fire escape, you don't want to be blocking the fire escape. So it's worth measuring internally and externally, just so that we can have a look at what the best options for that are.